Hey guys, it's Dave Dean, and I'm just doing a video on the Helix Director. So I'm just going to go through all the different functions on here and basically just kind of show you guys uh, everything that's on the actual display. So hopefully you can see this, so if it's coming in clear. Uh, so we're going to go to Menu, right? So the first thing we're going to do is uh, Display Settings, right? So Display Rotation, that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. You can flip the screen. And that's basically like if I was going to install uh, this volume knob on the on the right side instead, um, I could flip the screen around, right? And then just go back to normal, right? So that's that one. And then we can go back to display settings again. Backlight mode. So on here, once again, you can go to, uh, it's on. You can dim it, right? Auto. So that'll adjust uh, when it's darker light out then auto high all right so i always keep mine on on so that's that that's the display settings uh backlight level and you can adjust what you want with the volume control knob for the dim brightness and whatnot same thing with the timeout brightness you just adjust it with the volume knob all right so I'm going to go back to menu here again, display settings. Uh, then we got screensaver. So if you are on your computer, you can actually uh, put a screensaver on this thing. So, you know, where it says like Helix, German car, hi-fi, you can uh, pretty much put whatever you want on there. And, and then when you go into this mode, that's when you'd pick it, right? Enabled after 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. So that's that. So that's all the display settings. Now you go into the usability settings, right? So you have your startup volume. So right now I have, when I turn my ignition on and I start my car, I have mine on minus 30 dB, uh, but you can set it to negative uh, 15 dB, which is this one, right, right here, or you can do uh, minus 45. I like minus 30, it's kind of like uh, right in the middle, it's not too loud um, and it's not too quiet. So that's the one I put it on. Or you can have it off if you want to, right? If you didn't want it on, you could have it off. But this will save it. Uh, once you go into there, that's all you have to do. Put it on minus 30 and you're good to go on that one. Uh, so the next one's uh, your knob sensitivity for uh, setup selection. I have mine on high. You can either have it on high or low, depending on what your preference is, right? Uh, PS mode, mine's enabled. Uh, auto standby with power save mode, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this one I have mine on mute, mute button configuration. So as you can see, you're, uh, you got uh, negative 45 dB, negative 30 dB, and negative 15 dB. I have that muted. Um, and we got auto source. So mine is disabled right now, but you can basically put it on whatever you want, right? Um, automatic source detection. So basically if I want it on digital, I could have it on digital, right? So I could have it either on optical or coaxial and anytime it sensed that, um, that's what would play automatically, right? And, or that's if it detected it, it would play automatically, right? So I'll have mine um, uh, disabled right now because I don't use it because like I said I for the most part I use my file on plugging in things on mine either the the file player or Apple CarPlay which I have through Toshlink so that's that one um, slider or uh, slider orientation menu so mine's on horizontal I can have it on vertical or horizontal on that one uh, the next one is your volume steps. So I prefer minus, or not minus, but I prefer mine in 0.5 dB, but you can go 1 dB and 2 dB if you want. It's just going to go up quicker, but I prefer like the, the gradual slope on my volume knob. And that's what I have mine on uh, 0.5. So you can do, you can do 1, 0 0.0, 2.0, 0 0.5. All right. So that's all the usability uh, settings. So now we go into the system. Uh, this is if you want to say you had an issue with this. I've never had an issue with it, but if you did, you can just reset to defaults and it'll put back to the uh, the factory defaults. Um, this is system info here. 
So it just tells you the current uh, version, like the firmware version that you're running. Uh, when I go to Calgary later on at Mobile Solutions, probably in the springtime or whatever, whenever I go there next, I'll probably update this because uh, they've had quite a few other versions out since I've uh, used this one. So that's that. You can you can update that one uh, like whenever you take your uh, system to your shop or wherever you had your system done. Um, so that's system info. Uh, what else do we got on here? Uh, sync settings. So mine's timer controlled. Uh, you got remote input for one of the settings or disabled. Mine's under, under uh, timer controlled. Uh, what else do we got on here? Director update. Basically, if you're going to update your director because that's separate from the actual unit, um, that's how you would do that. Okay, so that's the system part of it. Now we go into the design. So the font design. Uh, font design, you can pick, uh, what is it, Tahoma Front. That's what I got right now. That's what you're seeing. Or you can turn it into that. It's not a huge difference. I don't know if you can see that on there. Or LCD font. It's it's slightly different. It's what you prefer. I just go with the factory one. This one's good for me. Um, so then you go to screen design. And this is where you go into your colors, right? So you can pick whatever colors. Uh, I kind of prefer the factory one, but if you want, you can switch it to brown background. I guess it depends on uh, what your vehicle is, what the colors are in your vehicle, uh, whatever you want to match it with. So there's brown, uh, there's yellow, right? So if I go into the main menu, menu here, um, it's kind of yellow, as you can see. I'll go in here and kind of show you guys. Uh, so red, so I'm going to mass volume, so that's what red looks like. We got orange, so there's the orange. Uh, green. Green's not too bad, I guess. And that's your default. So that's what I have my homage default. I prefer the default the best on here. Um, but like I said, you can match it up to whatever colors are in your car. So after that, we got uh, unused functions. So unused functions, what I have on here is your digital volume. I always want to make sure I have mine on zero, right? Subwoofer volume always kind of stays, like if you look at the master volume, it's always going to stay whatever it says on there. Uh, so mine's, you can, obviously you can adjust this, right? But I'll show you that after. Um, so that was your digital volume. Uh, your sound setups so i have three on here and basically what you do on here is whatever sound setting you want it on uh, say i want it on two you just hold the button down whoops i should say you just click it so if i want it on uh, two i just push it in once and it'll switch to two if i want it on three the third sound setting just click the knob in once and it switches it over. So I'm gonna go back to my main setting. So it takes about two or three seconds and it switches over to the, your sound setting. Like I said, I have three. I can't remember exactly how many you can store. I think it's like 24 or 30, it's somewhere around there. Um, if you have the director, it's, it's different depending on, I think if you have the director and the conductor, you can store like, I think it's like 24 or something like that. I mean, I don't know who's going to store that many sound settings, but I have three on mine. And um, so that's pretty much that. All right. As you can see, see this hazard sign came up on here? Well, that's the first time I've seen that. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go back to, what was it? Uh, system, reset to default. Yes. I've never, I've only seen that a couple times come up on there. Usually a lot of the time it's, uh, usually a lot of the time when I see that, it's because of, um, for me and my car, say I shut my engine down, like say I turned my engine down right now and I didn't open up the doors or anything like that. <clears throat> And I put it on like uh, uh, my system on like run. 
and then and then I and then my system came back on. So I turned the I turned the car off, but I didn't open the doors and close the doors. And then I switched it to auto and then to run. That's the only time I've ever seen that come on. A lot of the times all you have to do is like uh, open the door, close the door, um, turn your car back on and then it's fine. But if you do see that, you just reset it to defaults or you just do what I said, but I got my car going and I'm showing you guys this. Otherwise I wouldn't have reset it, but it just resets it back to uh, the factory. Okay, so we go to the menu. So that was, um, We're going to go on to so unease function. So then you got your uh, subwoofer volume is pretty straightforward, right? Um, uh, where are we at here? Okay, uh, unease function. So what have we got? So input select. So this is basically where you select your, uh, select your input. So right now I have it on digital optical. So digital optical is because I run an amp pro in my Jeep Grand Cherokee. So it has the optional Tosh link cable out. Uh, so if I'm using CarPlay, um, I'll switch it to digital optical on here. Uh, digital coax is if I got my file player going and I'm using that and I have my uh, digital out going. Uh, so spdiff out on the file player, then I use digital coax that goes into my DSP and that's the input I'm gonna select Hex is if you hex or auxiliary. So if you have a hex card on the Helix, that's the input you're going to select on here. Or if you're using two channels of your DSP, um, then you're going to select auxiliary in. So say for example, I'm using my FIO and I'm using a 3.5 to RCA out into my DSP, then I'll select the auxiliary. And uh, after this video, I'm going to do a demo of the auxiliary uh, input uh, sound demo. So uh, stay tuned to that next one for that one. Um, and then that, then you always go back to your main. So once you select one of these things, then you just go back to your main and then I'll go back to your master volume, right? So your master volume's uh, always gonna stay the same regardless of what input you select. Okay, so now we got uh, your tone control. So this, I believe you can select two different tones on here. I have mine disabled right now because I don't bother with it. But I believe you can adjust two different tones. So whatever, if, if it was like, you know, subwoofer frequency that you wanted to play around with, I think you can adjust that. I don't have mine on because I don't, I don't know. For me, I don't, don't see the point of it. But uh, for those people that like to tinker around with their systems, you can do that. And then the last one is a uh, voltage meter. And as you can see, that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Tells you your temperature and your voltage right there, right? So 15.3, uh, 15.4, temperatures 28.8 uh, degrees Celsius. And mine pretty much for the most part, unless I'm playing like, you know, an extremely bass heavy song, and I mean, it's, constant bass not not hitting hard notes but constant bass right um that might go down to like 13 i think the most the lowest i've ever seen my system and i was just cranking it out um i think i was at like negative 5 db um it was probably 12.8 i think so lowest i've ever seen it go down on here for that for that type of thing so it's kind of cool and then uh as you can see, like I was talking about at the start, I got the master volume here is one of the main, the main ones or digital volume. I don't usually have digital volume here. So what I usually have there is, whoops, I'm going to my unused functions here. So normally I have my in, input select. So all you do want to do is go on here, hold it down. All right. See, I switched that now that used to be digital volume. So you just go hold on whatever one you want for like two seconds and then go back to this one, hold it down for two seconds and you can switch whatever you want here for these four. So normally normally what I have is my master volume. I have the input select, I have my sound setups and then the menu. If I menu, I can get to whatever I want, right? Um, but for the most part, that's pretty much all I use. So that's, that's pretty much it, guys. That's... Uh, um, I showed you kind of how to do the sound settings on here, right? And um, 
other than that, obviously this is your volume wheel, right? That's pretty self-explanatory. And uh, I think it's a pretty good,